So our next story, partially hydrogenated oils, the main source of artificial trans fats, will be banned as an ingredient in all foods sold in Singapore from June 2021. Uh, we have a video on that, uh, about what that entails and what trans fats actually is. Have a look. So along with me here to talk about this trans fats ban is Ray, as alluded to by Salma. Hello. Hi Kimberly. So could you tell me a little bit more about this ban? As you mentioned, it's a ban of uh, partially hydrogenated oils as an ingredient and this is going to apply to prepackaged foods. So okay. if we're talking about freshly prepared foods, actually the ban is not going to affect it and that's because um, these freshly prepared foods in hawker centres, in even fast food restaurants, mm -hmm. have been using healthier oils since 2013 actually. I see. So they're already, they've already been regulated, so to speak. Exactly. Mm. So we hear about this sort of all the time. Trans fats is a big key word. So what is so bad about it? Well, trans fats are not really a big part of a natural diet. Okay. Um, in in uh, meat and dairy products, they do occur in some small amounts, but the vast majority of trans fats are actually artificial trans fats. Mm -hmm. As we've seen in the video earlier, um, this was introduced to the human diet sometime in the early 20th century, mm -hmm. that's the 1900s, uh, when this process of hydrogenation was invented. Okay. And that's really a way of converting uh, vegetable oils into solid or semi-solid states as a means of substituting for animal fats like butter, tallow and so on. Um, and back then we didn't know that trans fats were really bad for you. Uh, now we know of course that they raise your bad cholesterol levels and lower your good cholesterol. So some have called this a kind of double whammy impact on your health. Uh, as compared to saturated fats which raise both your bad and good cholesterol, some scientists have actually estimated they may be up to 10 times as potent as saturated fats when it comes to cardiovascular disease risk. Oh dear. So what then would you say uh, is your recommendation for the Singaporeans out there? Is um, banning trans fats the be all end all solution? Well, um, as I mentioned, a lot of the freshly prepared foods have already been using healthier oils. Mm. Um, but nonetheless, even if you do pick up healthier oil and you stir fry your food or deep fry your food at very high temperatures, some of the fats can be converted into trans fats. Oh. So it's best to avoid foods that are, uh, avoid eating too much of these fried foods. Mm. Um, Ultimately, with any kind of dietary recommendation, the key message is moderation. And I know that's kind of a boring message to hear. <laughs> Everyone's always been hearing you mm. eat in moderation, but that's really, um, that's really the way to go. Mm. Uh, as far as the trans fat ban is concerned, or the PHO ban, uh, when it was announced, some of my friends came to me asking, you know, like, does this mean they're going to ban potato chips, <gasps> instant noodles, cupcakes? Oh no. uh, that's not going to happen, of okay. course. So we'll still have these snacks and mm. uh, foods around, but they will be healthier. I see. In the meantime, uh, you can still look out for the trans fat levels in mm -hmm. the labelling on the products. Um, I think most products are actually required to label their total fat, saturated fat and trans fat. So you can try to look out for the ones that have lower levels of trans fat. Mm. And in the ingredient list, if you're looking for PHOs, they can come in the name of partially hydrogenated vegetable oils or fats, hydrogenated vegetable oil or vegetable shortenings. Yes, these are some of the uh, ways that you can look out for these. I see. So keep in mind all those different aliases of uh, PHOs, I would say. Quite and right. all things in balance, right? Thanks for clarifying this for us, Ray. And those are the top stories of the day. For more stories and videos and updates on any of the stories you've heard today, please do go on to our website. That's www.straitstimes.com. Once again, I'm Kimberly. Thank you for watching The Big Story and we'll see you tomorrow.